What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we are going to talk relays. Electrician U. So what is a relay? Uh, a relay is essentially a switch, but it is an electromagnetic switch, which means that you, instead of having to push a button to turn a switch on, you can send electricity to do that work for you. Say you want this to shut off, but you want this to turn on at the same time you can do that with a relay. There's a little coil inside of these things. Um, and when you energize that coil, it changes the states of all of the contacts that are wired to it. Relays give you multiple options for how you can interact with a circuit. So most of them are still gonna have like a regular coil circuit where you would run a signal or run some kind of bump to change the state of this thing from closed to open or from open to closed. What's cool about a relay though, this ice cube relay comes with multiple normally open and multiple normally closed configurations. So say you wanted a certain set of lights to turn on and a certain set to turn off at the exact same time. A relay, you have the option. So you could set up a couple of these to be on the normally closed setting while you have a few of them that are on the normally open setting. So when this thing energizes and changes states, it changes the states for everything. So anything that's wired normally closed, meaning like normally on all the time, and then anything that's normally open, which is normally off all the time, it's gonna change the states of both of them. So it's gonna make some lights turn on, some lights turn off when that change happens. Relays are usually um, rated at a little bit less, well, quite a bit less um, power than a contactor. So this relay, for instance, this is a 24 volt relay. Um, it's rated at 240 volts, 10 amps, which means you can actually run a 240 volt circuit through this thing. However, it's only 10 amp rated, but it's a 24 volt coil to change states. You have to run it with a 24 volt circuit. Um, there's different ones, different ratings. This has a 120 volt coil, but it'll do 240 volt. This is 600 volt rated, still only 10 amps. It's got a 120 volt coil. You can always see the coil voltage when you look at the actual coil. You need to bump it with a 120 volt circuit, like a, like a uh, control circuit from somewhere else. Um, usually how that's done is you're gonna have a time clock somewhere, you're gonna have a photo cell somewhere, you could have a light switch, but there still needs to be some either manual or automatic means of sending power to that contactor during certain times and taking that power away. Thank you guys so much for your attention and I will see you in the next video.